Good afternoon. So, um, Olympia Cost tomorrow, um, a team that statistically is really good at getting to the free throw line aggressively, um, a team that blocks a lot of shots. So they've got length at the big uh, positions. Um, and then a team that um, I would say has the key player in Slukas, who has been playing extremely well the last couple of weeks, but uh, at the same time has got, uh, how should I say, a very balanced quality. Um, what I mean with that is that they have a bunch of players who are capable of um, going off for like 15 to 20 points uh, on any given night. Um, and um, so uh, definitely a tough matchup. The standings are clear. Uh, both teams are 11 and 9. Both teams are, uh, you know, in the in a situation where, you know, they want to win in order to not only add another win to their uh, account, but also put the other team behind you. So, um, you know, obviously a big game. Hi, Coach. Hey. Uh, could you please share what is the situation regarding COVID? Like uh, we announced yesterday, Marek Blazevic was tested positive. Um, so that's a pity. It's what it is, though. Um, he's doing fine. Um, he is sick. He's got some symptoms, but he's been taken care of and he's doing fine. Um, the, he was isolated from the team uh, real quick. Uh, he got tested again uh, separately uh, as the team was tested again uh, today. You know, uh, we tested again. We're waiting for those results. We will get the results probably late in the evening. Uh, it will be announced and communicated right away, so that's the situation that we're in right now. Has it affected somehow the practices of the team so far? Uh, yes, it has, because, uh, because uh, number one, you know, we missed, um, missed Marek in practice, which um, is, is a factor. Um, and then, uh, you know, also, um, you know, had to kind of did a couple of security security situations in which we uh, removed Marius from practice yesterday and removed uh, Karolis from practice yesterday, just due to the fact that Karolis had a little tighter contact with uh, Marek and Marius was sick before, although he was tested negative. It was just like a safety. And uh, we just decided to be 100% safe. Their test came back negative also again, so it was probably over uh, protective but uh, in these situations right now our policy is to be over protective and rather kind of give up the quality of a practice um, than uh, play risky games you know let's say somebody is positive at the end and then we end up having like four guys positive instead of only three um, and why because they practiced you know we don't want to take that risk and it's more important to take care of the athletes and uh, then then to have a perfect practice. It's difficult, but it's what it is, and it's just the priorities. But they are both in practice again. So, you know, after the tests came back negative, and again, we did the other or next test round, and we're waiting for those tests now again. You mentioned Marius. How is he feeling after that uh, short, uh, leading the team for a short time? Uh, pretty good. Um, pretty good um, of, of what I know and of what he says and of what the doctors say. That's why he was, uh, you know, ready to practice yesterday and ready to practice today. So he's fine. Is it a, a date when, when you're looking uh, to, to, to come back as Tigo Suri and also Patrizio Algarino? Um, there is no exact date, uh, like the month of February for Steve was um, keyed for us to, you know, bring him back. Um, both guys are working very hard in the rehab. Both guys have started to do some individual work on the floor, uh, basketball-wise, um, which is like the next step in the rehab. And we will see. With Patrizio, we really can't say and don't know, and we're taking it slower there. It's not about 
begin with uh, Coach Ken. Please, can you share your thoughts about uh, Arne Wolfman, about his impact to the team, and why did you bring him uh, to, to Collins? Arne's impact on the team is very big um, for various reasons. Mm. Number one, just um, you know his professional qualities for which I um, brought him here um, because I I know him well and I knew him from before and he's worked on a very high level and um, he brings you know a lot of qualities to the table on a professional level, whether it be preparation of games, whether it is um, running parts of practice, whether it is developing players, um, you know, which he's very good at. Um, uh, more important than uh, more important than those qualities are his personal qualities. Um, like he's got a very high integrity. Um, he's extremely loyal, and um, he's a, a coach um, who uh, players gain trust in very quickly because they figure out and notice that uh, he's uh, not about himself, but he's there to help the guys. And you know, people notice that quickly. Um, and people and players appreciate that and um, you know his personality um, uh, and his personal traits are I want to say almost you know almost more important than the than the professional skills I know it sounds weird but you know within a team that's very important